Three major investigations in the state of Michigan taking new directions. Those cases involving Larry Nasser, the Flint water crisis and the Catholic Church. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykat is in Lansing with new information revealed by the state's new attorney general. From the Flint water crisis to Michigan State University and alleged priest abuse, today Attorney General Dana Nessel and her Solicitor General Fadwa Hamoud made some very profound statements involving some of the state's most important cases. The full and complete cooperation of MSU frankly continues to be a challenge. The case into Michigan State University and former gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser has former university president Luanna Simon and others still facing charges. Now two more athletic trainers are being looked at for alleged false statements. Attorney General Dana Nessel says full cooperation remains a challenge with the university board stalling and former President John Engler still not willing to sit down and talk. And the irony, of course, is uh, that the trustees themselves are the ones who asked for the investigation and yet they have made the work of our department extraordinarily difficult. In the Flint water case, 79 civil and eight criminal cases are pending. Solicitor General Fadwa Hamoud, appointed to lead the case, says changes are being made to include a team of career prosecutors still led by attorney Todd Flood. Also, Wayne County prosecutor Kim Worthy is joining the team. Attorney General Nessel um, had asked prosecutor Worthy to join the team out of respect for her expertise and her reputation. I shared that respect. I trust prosecutor Worthy. As for the case into the Catholic Church and alleged abuse by priests, the AG issuing a warning to anyone visited by someone investigating that they need to ask to see their badge, not their rosary. This comes after some have allegedly been talked into signing non-disclosure agreements by the church, Nessel says is trying to police itself. And it's important for the public to know uh, that this investigation is statewide. Priests have been moved from one diocese to the next, protecting the priests uh, and the parish. Last October, the AG raided all seven dioceses in Michigan. Now 14 assistant attorney generals are involved. The team is looking into hundreds of thousands of documents, and a letter was sent to every parish urging members to be informed leading to more than 300 tips received. As for the investigation into the Flint water crisis, Fadwa Hamoud, the Solicitor General, is saying she'll be holding more press conferences in the near future, but she'll be doing so together with Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy. From Lansing, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. All right, Simon, thank you. And in response to that announcement, the Archdiocese of Detroit releasing a statement saying, quote, it does not self-police and encourages all victims to report abuse directly to law enforcement, adding that clergy with credible accusations against them do not belong in ministry, and it has not received notification of credible accusations against any priests. If it does, it will act immediately. We have the entire statement on our website at WXYZ.com. Well, the big story